Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're fine. How are you now? For those who are you, Miss Ivy? Miss Ivy, how are you? Miss Ivy, I hope you are fine. I'm doing good, ma'am. I thank you very much. Miss Lourdes, and I think others, Miss Ivy, because I have a message a while ago that we will start in a room but others prefer to have it in uh, Facebook Live. Please tell them to go back to Zoom and Facebook Live, ha? Huh? Okay, thank you very much. So I hope that you're yes, well now and you are good. And this afternoon, we'll be discussing with, I'll be discussing with you, our, please tell also Miss Selba is in the room. Tell Miss uh, Duby, Duby to transfer. Now, uh, Bohol is okay, I think, right? So I hope you're doing fine, Miss Avita, Miss Lourdes. So we'll be discussing today um, educational technology. Edu educational technology. So educational technology is very important, no? So as a teacher, as future teacher, um, I hope that you have also tried making your, your uh, material because I believe that you have different materials. You have material from your college days when you had your, when you had your, so at this time, I'll be sharing with you some educational technology uh, discussions. So when we speak of educational technology, what will come to your mind? Now, so I think you are very familiar with educational technology because you know already that as a teacher, we have to prepare visual aids. By the way, I'll still have to, to go back to Zoom for one minute for some very important thing. Um, I still have to fix something. This is one thing very good. No, with the technology this time, because we can we can record we can react and we can do many many things though there are also problems along the way when we speak of pandemic but i believe that because of this you have learned also something huh? so our first topic is the traditional now not only focusing on technology, the latest technology like what we have before we don't have Zoom, we don't have Facebook. So what are the teachers doing? They usually make a material and create something through a uh, paper pencil, through Manila paper and the like. By the way, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Helen Bihag Boholano. I'm live now in Mandawi City, Cebu. So we are far, but because of this uh, pandemic, we can still continue learning, continue knowing each other via life, no? So what are the competencies that are expected of in educational technology? These are determining appropriate instructional approaches, methods, and learning activities, as well as instruction materials and tools. Choose appropriate principles in the preparation, utilization of conventional and non-conventional technology tools, as well as traditional and alternative teaching strategies. So we know for the fact that when we speak of technology, we 
not only focus on <clears throat> the computer, but still with a paper pencil. If you look at that, that uh, happy this time, the class will well supposed to open on 24, but it was changed due to some preparations and of course because of the pandemic, we're afraid of our and we are concerned of our safety. Better in Bohol because there are only few cases, but how about in other areas like Cebu, Manila, and other places in the country whom there are so many positive with COVID-19. So going back to education technology, it's not only focus on computer, it's also focus on judicial. Like if you don't have the laptop, use another way. Like if you don't have enough MBC with you because you are only on the internet, you can go to Facebook. Now, look at this picture. I know the kids don't like you and they pick on you, but they have to go to school. You're the teacher. What does it mean? The teacher, sometimes we cannot say the teachers are always um, doing well in the classroom. Not all teachers are good, but most of the teachers are good, like you. And you are also very good and you're very much concerned with your students. So what are the functions of educational technology? Why is there a need for us to have an instruction material? Di ba lang pwede magtabi ng tanga lang ihambok-hambok ang mga bata? No? The educational technology is very important. It has its functions. We have improvement of the teaching learning process. We have also another, and that is some benefits that will standardize teaching and learning in such a way that student increase the student's quality of learning. Take note, if I will give a book and you will read, nobody will teach you. Sometimes it is not beneficial. But this time, if you look at teachers in the Department of Education, soon next year will be in depth end. So you will be preparing module in the event that there will be like this. We're very happy and you are very lucky that you are in good health. It's important, even though you might be saying that better for those who are in the government they have the, because they have salary. True. It's one of the advantage of the teacher in the government. Kaysa gingaingon pa na to, ang las mapurdoy ang gobyerno. No? It is not only because teachers are born not only to serve in the public school, but they're also teachers who will be serving in a private school soon. And these are very important thing. So we need to remember that why is it important to use educational technology or instructional materials? The time spent in learning. So when you will be able to see the module, when you will be able to see the PowerPoint, Decree, it decreases the, the time spent in learning. It will also decrease the educational cost. You might say, mom, no, because education is very costly this time. No. Why? Because of the technology. Mom, mahal ang cell phone, mahal ang laptop. True, but it is not that expensive as before. If you look at before, those who can buy laptop and computer are those who are rich. This time, no. Everybody, even tricycle driver, has mobile phone, which is Android phone, smartphone. So what are the benefits of instructional media? It will standardize the delivery of instruction, like what we're doing. If I will not have this, I can talk educational technology, but I might be going somewhere and going back and forth. But if you have the instruction materials, you are guided what to do next. It will standardize. It is more attention grabbing. You look into, like, there are so many webinars this time. There are, very, there are free webinars. If you have a chance, why not join and grab the opportunity? Not only of earning the certificate, but also you will learn. That, like, for example, um, I always go to your school for a review. I always even go to Trinidad Municipal College for a review. That's extra income for me, but now no more. Why? Because we are not allowed to travel. I usually go to school every day, but now no more. We work at home. Mas makaingon ka, mga mas grabe pa kung nakasabalay. Why? The electricity. 
and so on and so forth. So more retention in learning. So when you use instruction materials, it is more attention grabbing and it is very interactive. It will reduce the length of time required in instruction. Like if you're going to have a text case and you I might be lecturing you the whole day. But if you look at, I have seen some of your lectures, it's only last for one hour, one hour and a half, even four to three minutes. Why? Because we focus. This is what we call the minimum competencies are given to the learners. So another benefit is to enhance positive attitude of student to learning. If student will see something, like when you see your instruction materials and when you have when you see some pictures or words, you'll be motivated. You can repeat and repeat. This is one good with the technology because you can repeat the video several times. It's all up to you how many times you're going to do it. Shift the role of the teacher to help instruct the facilitator of learning. According to you know, one of the one of the um PRC board for professional teachers, Dr. Heron Paraluman, that we are not any more teachers who will teach, but we are already past teachers who will facilitate the learners. And individualized individualization of learning. If you notice the 2020 to 2021 school days is very different. Students are learning on their own pace. Why? Modular. Parents will be teaching to them or they will learn it by themselves. So there are things that are changing this time. And it's multi-sensory. According to Navarro et al., Navarro, Dr. Rosita Navarro, the chair of the professional board for teachers, as this time, we do not know next year will be. There are different properties in social media. Fixative. What does it mean? In social media permits the capture, preservation, and reconstruction of an object or event of the past. So of the past. Manipulative, editing, property. If I don't like my PowerPoint presentation, I can edit it several times. Then I can have file one, file two, and the rest. Unlike the, uh, the Manila paper before. Another is distributive. It is not only that it's good for one person, but it can be with other persons. It allows the transmission of content for a large number of learners at the same time, like now, a Facebook Live move. What are the uh, these things, the, the audiovisual? In our time, this is not educational technology. This is audio, audio, audiovisual education because we focus on the audio and visual, but this time, it is multidimensional. So what are the properties in using visual aids effectively. Visual aid is just a medium. If you have a very good visual aid and you cannot talk to the learners properly, you cannot convey them, they will not believe in you. Because why? This audio visual aids is just a medium that will mediate. And the choice of medium, it's all up to the teacher. There are some teachers who love to have um, the tap tap. There are some teachers who like Google Classroom. There are some teachers like a while ago, I, I give a link that I want it to be in, face, in in a room. So you can, it's just class. But the problem in the room, unlike in, in, in Zoom, that we can, a while ago, I find it difficult because I already have a Zoom account in the university, we're given. So we subscribe most of our each classes as Zoom. But the problem would be is um, students, those who don't have the internet cannot access. That's why I go to a room a while ago, Facebook room, because uh, I think it's 50 who are allowed to have it. So it's better. But take note, I'm that's a choice of the teacher. What medium are will be the teachers using in which the student will also like it. That's very important. So take note that when you, you select a medium, because it's your choice, it must be appropriate to the learner, not just available. Why use visual aids? You might say, mom, 
I could still remember we have teacher before that do not utilize visual aid. True, but take note. Why are we going to use visual aid? It will save time and interest. And add interest. Now the time, instead that the teacher will be talking a lot because of the visual aid, minimize. It improves listeners' understanding. The student, especially if you will have it very nice for elementary, you have it made, you make your PowerPoint beautiful. You make your visual aid very colorful. But of course, in college, it's different. So they allow for different learning styles. If you look at this, I think it's very familiar with you. No? You know Edgar Dale. This is Edgar Dale Cone of Experience. If <clears throat> you will give text like the module, only 10% will be retained after two weeks. Picture, like for example, when a certain girl, ringon siya, nga nung nahilak man kami ka, ringong miga, naghilak ko, kahibihan ko sa kong uyab. Kung sa maingon sa miga, mayon ra sa miga, ay sus, inom lang na oy, taon lang na, muwag tang rana. Ano na kayo man siya? Wa siya kapil. No? But later on, when she experienced boyfriends, and then, nagbuwag si Downs Mineta Bo, nahilak sa siya. Why? Because experience is the best teacher. That is what we call direct or forceful experience. Isakitan ka si ipon. Mayroon ka, doi ka ng ipon, wala raman na. Pero ikaw na sakit, sakit yung inihubag. Yung mong naong ka, yung mong gam sa gubag. That is, di ka makaingon na sakit yung di ay. So that, why? You have experienced it. Direct or forceful experience. Teaching is good. True. Pero kanin do Jesus, ka maestra ka ka, ka sayon ra na. Pero pagtudlo nimo, na bata ni hon, mamo ako kasabot, how you feel? Kalagot ka nganu wa sa kasabot? So diha na ka nakasabot, kadi judi la limang maestra. That is direct or forceful experience. So you will once you will experience it, you will realize. No? So kung balita lang, take note ng balita, maya. Ni undang si Maria, may din ni undang si Maria nam tu yab. Si Pedro, meron kay bunti si Maria. So meaning, message si Relay na usab na. No? So, take note that it's very important to have this. This is arranged not according to the degree of difficulty, but according to the degree of experience. So, it kind of experience is a visual model device that presents bond of experiences arranged according to the degree of abstraction, not to the degree of difficulty. I've mentioned this already. Okay, so these are verbal. A bit. No, medium is communication. I'm very happy that Manny was able to join. Siguro, Miss Lord, my Lordess, Vita, and Mary, Ivy Jane, your connection is okay. Sometimes in Cebu also, especially if it rains, connection might be not good. <clears throat> the medium is communication. Verbal. What is the disadvantage? Highly abstract. Magtabi ka, especially dili ni mo go down, dili makasabot. No? Visual symbols. Why is it that there's a need to have the chalkboard? So kung magsuwat ka para makakita. No? So the visual. Dagang mga bata, ganahan makakita. No? Very easy to prepare. What's the problem? Lack of the ability of the media. Why? <clears throat> I'm a math teacher. Napuno na. When I was a high school teacher, napuno na. Wala na kong kasuotan. So, kung lang historia. So, later on, my students will never understand. Ano man, they wanted it to be seen. <clears throat> Another is recordings, radio still pictures. This is attention getting, particularly projected. Computized verbal abstraction. What's the problem here? What's the limitation? Sites of pictures or illustration. If you have a very little picture, then that would be a problem, especially the many students. By the way, how many are we here? I hope that everybody was able to join now. But even if you have not joined today, I know for sure that you will have time to revisit the discussion. <clears throat> Excellent. Present objects, the processes of Inside the classroom. Yeah? So, 
Another is <clears throat> demonstration. If you are teaching, if you are teaching PLE, there's a need for you to have the demonstration. How are we going to cook itsy bitsy? How are we going to make and cook the kalamai in buhol? So di ka moingon nga, what are the ingredients in the kalamai? It's very, very low. But you have to see how delicious is your kalamai compared to your classmates' kalamai. No demo. The disadvantage is the process might not be interpreted or conceived very well. No, most of the problem. Field trip. Field trip is very good because you'll be able to see the reality. But the problem might be the expenses in the field trip and the danger, the risk no? that our students will be encountering. <clears throat> now, in this field trip, we need to plan, prepare, and conduct. But of course, there's a follow-up. Like, for example, you will have you you had your field trip. After all, there must be follow-up. The questions on what you have learned when you were in your field trip. Okay. Dramatize experiences. Example, you have not experienced to be result. Wala sa takakita sa panahon ni Rizal. So what did you do? You dramatize the experience. So help closer to certain realities that are no longer available at first hand. Sabi itong mga gipang usab ng mga stories, that's good. Na sa unang panahon, yan, di ko alaroon. But the disadvantage is that it's time consuming. Oh, that's very time consuming. And participation is very limited. There are 50 students in one class. Uh, not everybody will be able to join. The dramatization. Contrived experiences, depicting the reality. Substitute for confusing and unmanageable first hand experience. Let's say, for example, batika ayo na reprieve. Di man siya maangayan makakita ang mga bata. So, imo siya is substitute, contrived experience. Edit mo ang reality. But the problem would be the disadvantage simplification leads to misconception. It will distort the view and incomplete picture of reality. The rest was for possible experience. You're having a practice teaching. <clears throat> I think your practice teaching was disrupted due to pandemic because we had a pandemic we started with the, lock, with the uh, ECQ in March. So there was a, a cut of, the, the, there was a, what they call that, um, disruption of your practice teaching. But you have tried from the second semester up to February, you have tried it. So you will never forget the experiences that you had, especially if you have some problems encountered and then you have successfully solved it. No? Kung problema na naglisod ang real teacher, imong na solve. No? So this is now the, the, <clears throat> the, the picture of the Brunner vis-a-vis -vis with Edgar Dale. The passive Learning is from reading to watching demo. Active learning is from hands-on workshops to uh, direct or possible experience. <clears throat> so if you categorize Brunner from abstract, no, from active, <clears throat> iconic to abstract or symbolic stage, this is the picture. You know, so that is very important. So meaning, what's the, the essence here? Your visual aid could be, the instruction materials could be verbal, visual, text, TV. If you look at that, it are, we'll be having TV programs soon with some bro, teacher broadcaster. But um, there are also very important things that we should remember that when you are going to do that, be careful because many will be able to see. So, what are the different types of visual aids? Overhead transparencies, you have seen this one. Sa unang simbahan mo ni gigamit. Slide, flip chart, objects, models, handouts is also. Now later on, I'll be sending to you the material that you will be answering. And then tomorrow, we will have morning and afternoon session. Don't worry, it will not be the whole morning. Uh, the whole afternoon, you will have to, to give the, 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 the gist of the discussion. So I'll be uh, letting you answer that one so we can communicate. So maybe at the beginning, we can have the group, the, 
the chat room and then we will agree on the time is it fine with you no to have in a chat room first when we check para makatingog sad mo no kay dili ka connect ka ayo there is a zoom at least uh, ganahan magugong makakita ninyo mo gyud akong gusto no lahi gyud ang maestra no kay teacher would like to have a lot of video already uploaded na nagdiscuss ko masindot man gyud ang natay tan-aw no so handouts start it hard diorama these are different audio displays and of course the latest is computer assisted instruction what are other classification of instruction materials according to modality it could be audio visual or audio visual according to projection it could be printed or non printed according to literacy requirement it could be books i'm i'm a book writer um mayo day ng uban wala na hali ng libro you know what if you are a book writer and the company will just upload in um in their website or in their education virtual ed then it's still possible no books are still important like you you wanted to buy book i know teaching machine the computer chalkboards etc then according to dimensions you have 2d 3d i think you have tried this one and according to facing you can have static and dynamic So what are the factors to consider in selecting such material? It must be related to the lesson. Ayaw ug pagbuha o pagitag visual ay basta na alang, no? It must be related and suitability to the age. You can have crude jokes like what I like, what I don't like in the in <clears throat> in online is we cannot throw joke because it is recorded and they might be able to see. So it's not good to to have joke, no. So <clears throat> then another is, so it must be suitable to the age. So when you're going to have children, then see to it nga para nila, kung dagko na para po nila, no. Accuracy and novelty of media. That's why. Then the learner participation. See to it that the learner will also participate. Then. provision of feedback it's very important that the, that the students are given time to feedback and the appeal and the availability another is adaptability for example you do not know how to use it so it's very it's a problem when you do not know and the students might be asking you <clears throat> is in the use of the operation of the media if experience one of my co teacher do not know how to operate the lcd tawag pa ko niya og iya pa kong ipatuslok so meaning to say that's very important that we need to know how to operate the learning environment the cost and objectivity and the maintenance sometimes wanted to use this but it's very expensive it's not good also mahurot imong sweldo loy po so technology tools for constructivism so these are the different characteristics vis-a-vis -vis of the different uh, tools in technology now if you're going to use text now, for example in my powerpoint see to it that the line is four to six or seven by seven or six by six now the uh, hi miss avita i like you your connection is very okay <clears throat> it depends on how we integrate and see to it like cartoons poster mom gamit pa baron ang picture yes in making your module it is important Our students are young, then they'll be able to see the picture. Okay, these are the different types of graphs, etc. Now, sometimes we present graphic organizer. What are examples like fishbone diagram, like um, <clears throat> uh, what else? Chain event, um, uh, uh, tree, no? For family tree, for example. It's a powerful visual picture of importance. allows time to see undiscovered patterns of relationships so um an example of graphic organizers could be family tree i mentioned this fishbone interaction outline kwlh storyboard spider diagram and the like so venn diagram looks like this similarities differences tunga ang similarity web So no, like that one, web could be that. Or kung bata ang imong student, then kung ibutang na web, it could be picture niya, ila pong ito. Kung dagpa na, it could be word. 
then the circular type web. Then clustering, a non-linear activity that generates <clears throat> a student's cluster, their thoughts tumble out, enlarging their own word bank for writing and enabling them to see patterns in their ideas. So, or uh, this is an example, story map. Could be like this, or fishbone diagram, cost detail, cost and effect, timelines, per second, third, fourth. Timelines could be that, chain events, no? problem solving, what, who, where, when, spider map, storyboard, teach chart, no, in any know what, learn, how, K-W-L-H, or chain events could be that. So there are different types of diagram, affinity, tree, fishbowl. So uh, I already mentioned how it is used and it is what we call graphic organizers. So technology, media, and learning, how it is related to each other. <clears throat> now, these are the instruction technology and media for learning. If you look at it, technology and media, then the learning foundations, there's also digital and there's also social media and there's also trends in media. Take note, my trends, na yung mga bag o karon. So, basic types of media could be text, audio, visuals, motion picture. Mabi tong ganahan mo, mga may sarong nag-training, unsa ang paglupad-lupad, ano mo ila sa video nila. People, if you do not know, like for example, if your last speaks about uh, local government in high school, what will you do? Madili man kay ka maayo, so pwede ka mga imbitar o kapitan, konsihal, mayor, why? So, people is also a media. Resource persons, no? Uh, you have heard this one in our test, what is a model, what are mock up, and uh, others, no? Mock up, anang mga tang 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 arrangement of real device or associated device displayed in such a way that representation of reality is created. Specimen, unsa may gamit anak? Sa biology. Karoon, no? Mga specimen, no? Na swab test, uban pa diha. The school election process described in a form of simulation. Buta niya, hindi lang isa-isa, kundi lang ito yung magbunay bala. So that is a simulation. So, we will go to ICT. No, no, humanata sa mga papil, papil, whatever. Now we'll go to ICT. Why is there a need for us teachers to learn ICT? ICT is very important. Kung tanaw ni mo sa bagong curriculum, ang inyo daan pa mani, no? EdTech, EdTech 1, pinaraan. EdTech 2, bago. No? Pero if you look at karon, EdTech 1 is already the karan and the bago, meaning there's already incorporating of computer. EdTech 2 is more focused on the major shift. Diba? So, magka-evolve, magka-evolve. So, what's the, what's the point here, the implication? You need to pass the board exam next year. Why? In 2022, it will be new set of questions with the new curriculum. From CMO 74 series of 2017, 18, yeah, down to CMO 83. Huh? So, you need to have and to learn those things. So, karun pasarun yun nato. The history of computer, the father of computer is Charles Babbage. Now, what's the use of this, ma'am, in educational technology? We should learn and know people who started this so that we'll be able to apply them. No? Karun mo kang, wala na yun di ma-learn kaya na mga tutorial daghan. No? I think some of you have your YouTube channel. No? Yung mga cooking, whatever, no? Ano na na siya ro? So, computer has input process output device. But there are others to mention also that storage devices are important. When you buy cell phone, di ba nyo lang tanahon, pila man siya, ang iyong picture, pila ka ang iyong pixel, o pila ka megapixel, yung mo lang tanahon, pila ang iyong 
masiva. Diba? May ka, ay, ka na lang akong pila ka gigman, pila ka GB. Uy, 32. Uy, kamera ka ayo Di akong dagan video sa TikTok. Di limang ga, ma, masiva. Naganahan na ba ko sa akong video sa TikTok, no? Ay mo nang ma-upload, maglisog ka, gumawa ka internet. Kung naka ni mo, at least na-save ni mo. No? Kaya pinakamangin mo mga ikid. No? So you need to have the um, to look at what kind of um, cell phone you will purchase. No? And the laptop also that you need. Kaya ubang laptop, dili po hindi mag-green screen. Ano man, kaya dili compatible. So may nana, tanawin siya nato. So input device includes hardware component that allows you to enter data program. No? Commands and the user responses into a computer. So output devices makes the information resulting from processing available for use. So examples are printers, um, <clears throat> CRT and LCD, uh, no cathode ray tube, and liquid crystal display. <clears throat> so the storage device also is very important. Wala na ni uso ang copy disk, no? But GSIS nag-require ya po na ni kami sa school, we still buy desk kit. Nga naman, kami ito naman sa GSIS submissions. So, karon plus drive na. May nata, USB, no? That's a plus drive, no? <clears throat> then, hard disk is the non-removable disk from your computer or from your laptop. So, communication device is a hardware component that enables the computer to send transmit and receive data instruction and information to and from one or more computers. <clears throat> what are the different types of computers? So, per computer or mainframe computers, so, katong sa una, ang mga dago, microcomputer, the desktop, your laptop, your handheld PC. So, computer software is also very important. Your computer will not run without the software. Your computer that can be seen are hardware. Then the operation management, it will load, store, and execute programs. File management, na iba na ito, di ka matang kong file, na itong computer puno kayo, daghan kayo, naglibog na tag-asa na ito, pangitaan itong file. So file management is very important. Creating a folder is very important. Pero wala, naroon na ito. Sa una ka itong mga teacher, sa una. And then, open your folder. So sa may strani, palit itong folder. Ano yung color sa folder? Blue, green. No? Pero karon all teachers knows how to know how to open and create folders. No? Lahi na gir ka ayaron. Okay, even if they age already, they're still uh, wanting to learn. They want to learn and they are learning because of the call of the 21st century. Some application software that are common for teachers. Word processing, spreadsheet, graphics, contact management, you know what? Um, <clears throat> Dagan ka yung inani, kan like, hindi lang kani, kaya nga nung uban, ganahan na magkatun o pang Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, according to IID Las Alas, ang taong kangit, Photoshop, kumakatit. No, joke lang na siya. Software, legal issues. Sometimes it's a problem. Why? Because we need to purchase the license software so that we can use it legally. <clears throat> but there are also issues of virus. No? Most of you problema because sometimes our computer, I think you have experienced in your thesis, wala na, in your thesis, wala na suway nga na, na corrupt ang files sa inyong flash drive. So, kana ko yaw sa nasiya. No? Hardware versus software. Which is more important? Now, actually, both are important. They are equally important. So, network. <clears throat> Kung sa eskwilahan mo, naka-network mo, di ba? Local area network. Sa una, kami in Cebu Normal University, nakalan lang may delete me ka-input sa grado when, when we are at home. But now, we can input our grades even if we are at home. So, so ana na lang yun, karun ka sa yun. No? Networks, World Wide Web. No? Sayaw na lang yung kaayong pag-open sa internet and all the questions even in the licensure exam are available online. Only thing that we do is research. <clears throat> so these are examples of web browser. Internet Explorer, Netscape, Opera, 
And Mozilla Firefox, napaydaghan na ni, wala na ako maapil ng sulat, no? Kanang pananglitan de Safari, no? Google Chrome, oh, na din, Google Chrome. So, firewall is also important. So, common applications, email. No, ka, kanag yung pagkakas email, karon okay pa mo, no? Kay, kanang estudyante pa man mo, hindi ka may sarang nyo, daghan, dyo kang musa nyo email, karon kaya musa nyo email, ang Facebook ra yun. Mga na ni like sa inyong picture, na ni comment. But when you become a teacher, there are so many emails that you need to attend. So, you have to do that. Shop for goods. So, daghan na karun with the pandemic, many are shopping goods online and services even. No? Palit mo o... <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Palit mo kutsara online. Sapatos online and all the rest. No? Meet and converse people around the world online. <clears throat> like, if you have seen some view, some movie or some... Kanang kuan bitaw sa TV, mga salida, nagkauyab sila sa online. So, kana, no? Pwede ragyo di ay. So, naaragyo di ay sa online. Ang, no? But we should be careful because um, there are many people like karoon bita contact tracing, for example, na po yung nagmapiamat, pinapabuha ka nagkuan. Nag-ilad-ilad, bisag dili contact tracer niya, makuan imong mga, imong pa, imong self. Kuya o kayo, babayroon pa ka, itas ka, sinuhay ka. No? Be careful. <clears throat> so, Access information such as news. Before we should buy a newspaper, karon di natang buy newspaper. Access on Freeman, Sunstar, online or Philippine Star or whatever. But with all this, there is there is social impact. Why? Threat to privacy. With the technology, usah yung atong kinabuhi di na private. Many people will be able to search us. Ah, kuan din si kuan, kuan din si kuan, no? Reduce personal interaction. Sometimes because of this technology, we cannot anymore um, inter interact with other people normally. Kami sinang kami. Sorry mong kauban. Sito kang tech. Anto di. Ito mo mga minaw. Bisa nga pwede mong uyad. Karun na mo nagkita. No? Displace workers and change workplace. Now, because of this, pwede daghan na kayong work at home. No? Computer failure cause great damage. No? Kung mag-goodbye mong computer, na diyata nang save, goodbye. Artificial intelligence. But take note of the fourth industrial revolution, robotics. We need to, to, to be with this. Technology amidst our own tradition and culture. No? Daghan tag itanaw. So what are the elements that serve the rationale for using educational technology or technology in education? Motivation. So technology motivates learner. Mo yun ka adto sa Facebook tanawan ni, adto sa Google tanawan ni. Yes, very important. <clears throat> Unique instructional capabilities, support for new instructional approaches, increase teacher productivity. So uh, this is the vision of the government that we can access effective learning for all anytime and anywhere. No karon anytime and anywhere. ICT and education. ICT can be used in education to improve administrative efficiency. Unsa may example, ani ma'am? Example. The principal, for example, will not anymore gather the teacher's <clears throat> survey na papel, but it can be done online. It can be done via email or Google Forms, no, in the Google Docs. Disseminate teaching and learning material to teachers and students. So, karon, send na lang mo. Mauni atong test, ha? <clears throat> Mauni mahitabo ron. Ako ra i-send. Ngayon ra i-download. Or mag-send kong usa. I-send na ninyo sa kauban ninyo. So, these are things. Now, nga makayong ka nga. Hala, uy, nani na yun ko sa yun. But sometimes, especially if you're using phone, ako kung magamit ko sa phone, maglisot ko kung ano man. Kay... <clears throat> Gamay ka ayo sakit sa mata, no? Allows teachers and students access the source of information from and around the world. Share ideas on education and learning. So technology's role in restructuring education. Technology is a big role to restructure education. <clears throat> so we have technology and its impact on communication and <clears throat> um communication and learning. Hello, Miss Cherry. Technology 
has a great role in restructuring education. But take note. Nobody can replace you. Dinya mo, ma'am. Lawi dilin niya kung ma-hire, ma'am. Kaya na yung technology, no. Teacher is still the best person in the classroom who can guide our students, who can facilitate learning effect. Pinagya po. Kung nagdaghan ninyo, ganahan yun mo sa mag-public. Kaya tanaw rin sa pandemic, sige ang sweldo sa public school teacher. No? Pero pa'y nakakindot sa gobyerno. Interdisciplinary approach will perish. So with this interdisciplinary, you can integrate English and Filipino. There is there is similarity. Monoman thematic teaching, research and problem solving skills will gain attention, and assessment methods will change to reflect the new curriculum. Karon bitaw sa online class na niya namon September one we use we use Google Classroom, but next year we'll be using our because we purchased a ULMS. So, ato na, ang problema na mo, kami maka-access, o sa ipod mapaong. No, a very concrete example, when I was invited in the Department of Education, may masindot ang Facebook Live, kaysa ka ng kamutanan, sus mo fluctuate yun. Kapila ko maputol, repair, balik na po. So, meaning to say, ka ng deapoy loophole ang technology. No, as I quote President Duterte, na hinay man ang atong kuan, gusto siyang mukusong. So, hopefully, the telco company will be able to do something in order for internet to be available anytime, anywhere, and it is accessible and it is of low cost. No, kay kung mahal po kayo dilitan nang makaafford. Technology and its impact on communication. So what's the impact? Organization decentralization, both geographically and managerially. Increases productivity, decreases in employees. Daghang uban ngroon nga gamay ng daghan ug matrabaho, nagamay ra empleyado nga ng trabaho. Dramatic increase of information sharing. Dramatic decrease in middle level management. Increased use of workers. No, in any like I have a research just approved this morning with two point four million. Akong kauban, taga normal, napukoy kauban, taga ilo-ilo o taga tuburan. No? Dahil yun, nag-i-appeal po ko sa akong kauban na about to be approved po dahil lang study in in Mindanao. Yan yung nanayin ko sa akong kauban. Ma'am, naman di kay Imo, di liman di po hindi maduha. So, meaning to say, it can be traced. No? But traced good because of technology. Mumurag contact tracing ba? No? Technology enables the following. Students to become motivated, engage, and learn effectively. Lumaog yun ay purpose sa technology. Ang usahin lang po ng technology, kaya nagsigira mo dahil tanaw sa, tanaw mo kay drama. No? Kaya no, others are, koan, no? Diba? Vita, kusok ka internet niya, Vita, so sige, sige, kung siya tanaw kay drama. O then, learning, collaborative learning. Explore, discover, and produce knowledge. Meets multiple learning styles and intelligence students have. Then students to become proficiency in technology literacy skills, performance-based assessment. So technology is important here and performance-based assessment. So what's the difference between technology education and educational technology? Our course yeah, teaches with technology use as a thought. Tool, technology and education is about teaches about technology as content area. Ang atong subject karon educational technology. Sa bagong curriculum, it is technology for teaching and learning (TTL). Ano man? Ang educational technology is teaches with technology. Rata mo na iba na tumama is salita ka basol, no? Pero ang ato gud ng tanawon is technology. This is on Um, enhance the teaching and learning process. Now, technology will just help us to make some material useful in teaching and learning. No, ili kay kung maistra ko na gamit ng technology, that is uh, that means that is not uh, the teacher is not integrating technology. Kasi sa raman, pero kung nagintegrate siya ng technology, ang bata ni gamit yun ng technology. No karon na oh tanawa mo gamit na mo diha no 
common media in 1950s. Sa unang panahon, mauna eh. Audio, text, visual, motion, film, and object. No, that's 1950. 1980s, na po nang computer. No? Have you noticed? Convergence. Digitization. Sa una, mo loan kag SIS, mo atog yung ka, mo fill up ka ron. Mo, mo na lang ka, online na tanan. So, di ba? There are changes in technology. <clears throat> so, there are some theories like other programs, like other courses. There are also theories. Gardner. Ba mo si labot ni Gardner sa ICT? Of course. Why? This is the different intelligences is part. No? Kay kung ang bata can stop the ship or the emotion tagaan o video ng exercising ngayon, lay pa ka ron. How will PE, how will the PE teachers teach the student? No? Pwede ang maisra mag-demo. Nikaw man na return demo, video kan po ang, o video po ang bata isend sa maisra. No? Inaan na lang ang panahon. Karon. Maray Montessori, it's teaching the student in natural setting. Whether we like it or not, we know that our young learners, very young, me, I have a kid. My, my child is very much updated. And up, you know, kamay kayo mo, mo research. Mano lang, I'm tired of encoding. So may na siya. Google? May siya Google. Hey, Jean Hart. May na siya. Go to YouTube. Mayroon sa din Google, connecting to YouTube. So, see, students are advanced. Comment siya sa Montessori, the students learn in a natural setting. Di man ka mayroon sa unang panahon, sa mong panahon, di yun may magsigig cellphone. Oh, true. There are positive and negative impact of using technology with a learner. But we have to see to it that as teacher, we focus on the positive. And what will you do in order to to limit also the use of technology and this technology use will become productive. Make the learner inter, um, understand what you're doing. That's very important. PhD on constructivism. Learners construct knowledge based on prior knowledge. Ang mga bata karun nakabasa na daan. So they have prior knowledge. No, that's very important. <clears throat> Vygotsky, on sa tumahinom duman ni Vygotsky, Zone of Proximal Development and Scaffolding. Children make meaning for community places, which plays a central role, and the people around the student greatly affect the way he or sees the world. No? So that's very important. What are the different theories in technology, educational technology? Anchored instruction. What is the word that is anchored instruction? Maintains the real world context and be embedded in educational media, which serves as an anchor of learning. So this in educational media is an anchor of learning. No, it, it's also related to problem-based learning, such as internet commerce class. No, cognitive flexibility focuses on learning in complex and ill-structured domain. The theory focuses on spontaneity of learning situation. So, dili ni mo itanaw ang bata nga naglearn na ta siya ng kang hunong. So, there must be spontaneous learning and continuity of learning. Constructivism argues that learning is an active process. Learners construct their knowledge by selecting and transforming information, constructing and defining hypotheses and decision making. So, another is DI. May na yung sama na ma'am, dance instructor. No, this is diffusion innovation theory. Attempts to explain the patterns of adoption of innovations in general. Educators' adoption of technology is an important application of principles of this theory. <clears throat> the original theorist is Katz. Inyon siya. Opinion leaders, opinion followers. No? Yung si Rogers, the process by which an innovation is communicated through certain channel over time among members of a social system. According to Roger, it's very important that you should be aware. So, sa dilila ka magkasigilik, patanggin mong bata activity to be aware of the topics. Ini ka human. Arose, give them activity that will arouse their interest. 
evaluate, then try again. Try an individual makes full use of innovation. And the last is adoption. Individual decides to continue the full use of innovation or change the innovation. Another is the theory of distributed cognition, closely related to social constructivism. Social constructivism is not new to you. No? It makes that cognition is not within the individual, but rather it is distributed over other people and tools. What are the reasons for distributed cognition? Single actor can perform a complex task alone. More opportunities to discover and correct error. So, dili kami yun, uy, nasa'yo pang bata, okay na, no, there are more opportunities to discover and correct error. Then, dual coded theory, provide a visual PowerPoint presentation to present facts to students that include visual pictures along with written text information. When students giving instructions on how to use a particular software, try to include snapshots from the program to help students learn how to use the software. Then another theory, there are more than 10 theories. Elaboration theory. Why is there a need for teachers to elaborate? It is very important to elaborate why instruction should be organized in increasing order of complexity for optimal learning. Now, this is common, experiential learning. Before, kanang field study, moment na to experiential learning, addresses the needs and wants of the learner. Nagalitaan na yung manual sa una, experiential learning. So according to Carl, Carl Rogers' theory, uh, wherein it's rooted in humanistic education, he identifies the two types of learning as cognitive and experiential. Meaning, kanang do any more like kabasa ka, simply makalearn ka, and when you have experienced it, it will concretize your learning. <clears throat> so this is experience. We have experience. Pang lita na kasuway ka o o tudlo o nung kay sa yun kay nagin ani yun ako kung klase. Mungi share, gi process, gi generalize, gi apply na po. So this is do reflect and apply. Apply do reflect. Then M I by Howard Gardner. Suggest that every individual possesses a unique combination of distinct intelligence, meaning each one of us. No, we're unique. Script theory is primarily intended to explain language processing and heritage skills. Situated learning is a general theory of knowledge acquisition. It has been applied in the context of technology-based learning activities for schools that focus on problem-solving skills. Social constructivism. No? maintains that learner construct knowledge in interaction with their social environment. That's why pagkakira good na ako panalitan sa buhol ni ngaw mano. So maari mong syudad makuratan sa mo, uy, kasaba ba? No, panahad ko nga mo mga sudyante sa una na ito, alam mo, kakuha nyo yung kasaba. O, ang tanaanad-ana. No, ang atong naanad ko, iro, manok. No, inanak po na. So, so, your, your, your kind of social environment. Example po, ang taga-syudad, hindi ka ang silingan, mga informal settlers sila. So, unsa may ila. So, di sila gustuhan ng anak sa bukin nga sabang nga manok. Unsa may gusto nila, sabang nga tao. Kaya naanad na sila. Because that is environment. No? Because you have learned, you will also learn with your environment. For example, dagang kawatan sa inyong area. Ikaw rin ikawatan. Uy, man ka, uy, unfair. Mga kawatan lang sa ko, no? You will learn from other people, though it's not good. When you know what is good or bad, as a teacher and a student, you know what is good and bad. But Vygotsky is the most prominent figure of this social constructivist theory. Symbol. Ngayon usahay, mas sindot man symbol ratong iswat. Dili na iswat ang text. Ngayon man. This will, that media, kuno, effects of media on learning. To summarize, the symbol system of media affect acquisition of knowledge in a number of ways. No? These are the different learning styles, visual, auditor, and kinesthetics. <clears throat> Computer-assisted instruction. So, computer na good. Now, with all this, we need also to, to reconsider if you're going to give activities that need your friends. Peer teaching. Example, ikaw kaibaw ka, unyay mong amiga di kaibaw, unsa mong buhaton, tudluan ni mo siya, ano man. It will build on the wealth of expertise of participants. 
it encouraged participants to draw on and share their experiences with others. And that's very, very important. Interactive process. Ma'am, uh, I don't know, ma'am, why we need to learn this and why is it that even in our visual aid, there is interaction. No, may naka nakanindot ito sa face-to-face, kaya nga, no, inig-discuss, maestra, makagatang ang mga information, interact, no? Mugi rin tayo nindot. Moto ganahan ko ganina sa face uh, chat, para maka, uh, no, room, chat, no, sa room, sa F FB, galing, maglisod po ang tanan, yung nakalidiferensya, di sa takashare lang, no? Kung ato ta kita lang, gamay rata, makashare ta, pero kung aris, but I think on uh, Facebook, we'll be doing something also beneficial to the learner. So, interactive process is very important because it will reinforce learning. Example, may throw ang maestro question, the answer sa usa, ganahan pong usa mo, yes ma'am, in, in uh, as a rejoinder, in connection with the answer of Maria, in connection with the an answer of Avita, it's like this. So that's very important. Real world, world application. It is very important that when we give example, it must be related to the real world. So listen examples of hypothetical or real problems. So what are the problems that we're facing today in relation to English? Oh, ano din ta? So may tapas, what din ta o reflection about COVID-19? Oh, unsa man ron, buwan ng wika. So may din ka nga, how will you, how will you, uh, do that. O para ba yung klase nun? No? Buwan ng wika, what? nataka-celebrate, nutritious, nataka-celebrate. No, mga inana. So, nutrition month, on sound board nimo, no? Develop individual action plans, application in the workplace. So, it's very important to relate. Now, in the 21st century, we should need a smart classroom. A multimedia room designed that features a fixed overhead data video projector and screen TV, o oh, ang usuro na TV, katong smart TV na para doon ta mag-internet at doon natin ito sa Zoom o tanaw din ito sa maestra, magasalida. What makes them smart in a room control system that makes those features to easily operate the audiovisual equipment? Na? Mga na ni Mang Hitabo sa 21st century classroom, pulos na mga digital. So designs to improve teaching and learning in the 21st century, we need to empower the faculty. The teacher is an important person in the classroom. So we need to empower the teacher in order for us to learn, relearn, and unlearn. Emphasize flexibility. May ang maestra, aloy, mag-exam ang yugo niya, sus, nag-uwan, waka-exam, or karun. Ngayon mo, ma'am, unsa yung pag-answer sa bata sa periodical test? Oh, flexible. Encourage student interaction, stress simplicity, expand connectivity, contain cost, and sweet details. <clears throat> so this is Bloom's taxonomy. Unsa may equivalent knowledge. Kamauka, muopek internet knowledge. Comprehension, kamauka mag email. Application, kamauka curriculum software. Analysis, o kamauka search. Synthesis, multimedia production, evaluation, o when you can do video, o kanang uban nag upload na sa YouTube. Okay. Um, copyright law. With this, ano po tayo mga problema? Ang atong module karon, di ba ka tama priso, nga kinopia na to. No? These are issues. Then, copyright is a form of intellectual property law that protects original work for authorship, including literary, dramatic, musical, and artistic works. Example, when you download your software, uh, when you buy Microsoft, when you buy laptop, pula pa ang Microsoft Office. Ana ang operating system mula kay Office baligya lahi kung presyo. Ma'am, si Microsoft 2018 siguro na. So, ang libot sa uban atun lang ka dito sa Daplin Daplin mo palit, no? So, kung nay mo kaya ni mo makiyog ka because that is the right also of the uh, owner of the copyright to earn also, no? Pero usay man gud mosabot ra ta for educational purposes. Word processing. O, oh, importante nga isa ka mo word. Importante ka mo Excel. Sa so, pagkumpit sa grado. And database. A class track. Um, mura ka gamay nga registers office. Na, sa classroom ka rin pa ka ron, Na pandemic. Hindi mo makakita sa inyong student. Multimedia in the classroom is also very important. 
hypermedia, email, email practice. So, kanang uh, pareho na mag-text. Don't use all caps. It looks like that you're shouting or you're angry. So, that's very important. So, don't ever respond in an anger. Maglagod na I don't like you. No, eh, all caps. Pareho na mag-text ka. All caps. Sumunin kayo. Maglagod man siguro ni siya na ako. Ano, please observe email etiquette. Jolly conferencing, what's the pros and cons? Like what they're doing. Shorter meetings, more task-oriented. Okay, di, wala yun. Usa ka adlaw nga magsigilang kang inaan ni Zoom. Disadvantage, fewer nonverbal cues. So, kaniba, dili ka ka-force um, inaan ni no, tech uncertainty. No, mauna ko sa'yo, mabasa rin yun. The advantage of video conferencing is better chance of getting nonverbal. Disadvantage is, is expensive. No? So what are the key elements for the creating 21st century skills? It emphasizes core subjects. It emphasizes learning skills. The different learning skills, the four Cs. What are these? Communication, creativity, collaboration. It's very important. No, we need to communicate with each other. We need to collaborate with each other. We should be critical thinkers. And you should be creative. No, di kaman, di ko magklasik, wala LCD, no? Use of the 21st century tools to develop learning skills. Teach and learn with the 21st century context. Teach and learn with the 21st century content. Use 21st century assessment that measures 21st century skills. Uh, what are the different skills? Information and media literacy. Communication skills. Critical thinking and systems thinking. Problem solving and problem identification. Creativity, interpersonal, self-direction. As a teacher, you graduated already. So you already are directed what to do. After taking the board exam, what is next? No? Accountability and adaptability, and of course, social responsibility. So what is digital versus integrated? In teacher oriented single sense stimulation, not teach. Pero nasa integrated na because of the technology, we should be student-centric. We should have multi-sensory stimulation. Then multi-path progression, multimedia, collaborative work, information exchange. So di liba nga, may kay, ako ipangutan na niya, manglibak din ka sa group chat. No, why not? Ask. Then active, exploratory, inquiry-based learning, critical thinking, and informed decision-making, proactive and planned action, authentic and real-world context. So that's very important. So when we speak of educational media sector, so unsama na siya, new teachers are given orientation of this in, um, educational media center. Why? Because in Ateneo, no, I, I gave an example of Ateneo, they have uh, EMC. What are the services? Organization of print and non-print materials. Circulation of print and non-print materials and the references. Bibliographic, no? Media in instruction program and class supervised research. Sometimes we need to ask our student to go to the library and research. No, dili kay maka excuse ta nga dikta ka klase kung dili the student will also be exposed on library research. Grade level newspaper, no, kanin agud ta ni. Pero karon kay wala man, <clears throat> kay pandemic man, mags on we, we, wheels, photocopying services, video and sound production, multimedia services. Now, let us remember that in creating and designing instruction materials, let us remember the different model. So, when we speak of ADDI model, we need to analyze the learner. We need to design our material. So, kung nakay buhat na instruction material, analyze ang learner. Inani ako mga learner, mga bright. So, yung kung i-design po para sa mga bright. Kung di bright, i-design po para sa di bright. Then develop, try to implement, and try to evaluate. If the result is not good, try it again. Revise something, no? Another is art model. Attention grabbing, relevance and confidence, as well as satisfaction. So, magbuhat kang instruction material, no, yun mo. 
ang bata ma-attract ba? Relevance ba? Basig dili you related. Nagbuhat kag counting. I have two hands, the left and the right. Yang imong lesson dili dili about hands. No? Confidence. Okay, you can present it with confidence and of your confident to present, sorry. And then students will be satisfied now with your uh, material. Then another is Azure model. First thing, pareha sa ADDI, analyze the learners. Then at this time, you need to state objectives. So, mong kumong, kasi mong methods, materials, and media. So, unsa ulo ko nga makasabot ang bata, unsa kung material ang gamiton, unsa ang media. Then utilize the media and materials that require learner participation and of course, evaluate. And if you need to revise, you revise and try it again. And if it is effective, then do it. If it's not effective, you can revise it. Through dealing, you're gali, you're gali, wow, man, you can sabot ako mga sudyante, ilisi na lang yung material. No? How to design instructional simulations or games? <clears throat> so this is the procedure. You need, you need to select what can. You need to specify the audience, the objectives, develop the model, <clears throat> then develop the rules, prototype, okay, then try out. Anara siya, then revise. No? Nana regyud. <clears throat> now, in in objective, kung sa may buhat ni mo, ma'am, related lagi ni siya, no, sa principles of teaching, na po yung A, B, C, D model, true, even in assessment, there is. So, you need to, uh, to know your audience. If you are a grade 3 teacher, your learners are grade 3. Therefore, you specify the learner's needs. Then the behavior, Unsa maka sila? Then, i-consider mong learner performance, observable behavior, and the real-world skill. Kani mo yung skill sa grade 3. Mau ni akong buhatan, no? Then, conditions. Equipment. Basin o why laptop dito or why projector. The environment conditions. Oy, wala electricity. Yung PowerPoint mong gamito, no? Then, the degree. Standard of acceptable performance. The time, the accuracy, and quality. So these are cognitive, affective, psychomotor. No? Ya ato lang siyang divide into motor skills and interpersonal skills. You need also that our students, personal. No? So this is the steps. First, review. Okay. For example, ganahan ka magpatan ang video. And ako sang video daan so that when they look at the video, unya nato mga lain, Hindi <clears throat> na mong apil, makat na nimo. Prepare the materials, prepare the environment, dili kayo mong klase 8 to 9, ay pag-abot nimo, mawag pa yung pag-andam na, o kung ang CD dahay, o hakot na niya, abot ni Pepe, wala na may tabo na. Then prepare the learners and provide the experience. Na yun ang human generalization. <clears throat> so project-based multimedia learning. In project-based multimedia learning, there is need to have planning, researching, organizing, Developing, communicating, and evaluating. If you look at it, evaluating is always there. Why? If you do, if there are some problems that will occur, you need to evaluate and you need to revise along the way as needed. <clears throat> so what are the challenges? Na magsita gis good nom o iwa kay ba odi rimam naglisod yung mga internet. True. These are some challenges. Learning how to use variety of technology applications with the Oh, especially with the pandemic. Sa pagkatinood, ang mga maestra na robot, you can hear, mulurn ka ani, mulurn ka ani, mulurn ka ani, or else you cannot produce something. Di lang ikaw. How about your students? Using, adapting, and designing technology and curricula to meet student needs. Ibang feeling, okay na ni sa mga sudyante. Inik, atos mga sudyante, may kaboring ba, ma'am? No? Madisappointed ka, masuko pa ka. Atakihon ka, kuya, wanta. And then expanding content knowledge. So you need to learn the content. There are so many teachers that encounter my guys from Pakanta Kanta, but if you ask them on the content, there is a problem on the content because they cannot um, teach the content very well. So content and strategy should go hand in hand. Taking on the new role, okay, ang maestra dili na katung sa unang at siya tanan mo split sa classroom. You are the facilitator of learning, and therefore, that's your new rules. 
then responding to individual students. It is very important to respond to all students. So, na maglisod, 50 mga sudyante, ang usa dito, katunga, naglibog na ka, so you cannot respond. So, these are the challenges with the use of technology. Especially, nang, mama mo si sunod, unyan tao, na dito'y nagawahi, no? <clears throat> so, the emerging digital society, this is it. Now, if you look at digital classroom, economic vitality, digital hospital, safety and security, o oh, naana, di ba karon sa una wala CCTV, digital government, digital home, o oh, laisyo na kayong mga balay ron, pulos na na laptop, na computer, tungkol sa online classes, digital office, bring, bridging the digital divide, wala na na, it bridge, na na bridge na no, the national regional competitiveness. Why? Need to accelerate investment in IT. Regional national competitiveness. So yun naman ka nga, uy, sa, sa laing country, ani nyo, kita mawahi pa, no? So, that's important. Now, going back, again, I, potential, potentials of ICT, you have access, efficiency, learning, teaching, skill formation, lifelong learning, planning and management, and community language. So it's not that you'll be alone, but you need to have other people with you. So according to Wadi Haddad, we do not think anymore of the spectacle of printing every time we read a book, the phenomenon of TV every time we watch a movie, or the miracle of the telephone every time we make a call. The ultimate success of ICTs for learning will be attained when we stop marveling about the ICTs and apply our minds and emotions to the wonders of learning. So learning is very important. So the community-based learning is very important. There is a need that we need to look at. Now, what is community learning? The community that learn together. Learning with the communities and supported with the knowledge platform. The old teaching paradigm, ang teacher, na ipalikutan siya sa learner, no? Oh, karon, the learner is in the center, the teacher is at the side. No, no a guide on the side, not a stage on stage. So in the teacher, mo, mo assist the learner. Learn is at the center. Now, siya mga other, in order for the learner to learn, there's library, there's community of learning, there's internet, there are companies, there are classes, and there are other schools. E-learning is an integral part of blended learning approach. Mamao naman iuso ron, blended learning. A, a little face-to-face -face and more on in, uh, online. What's the comparison between distance education and online learning? According to, to the book of, uh, uh, I forgot the author, I think it was, um, I forgot, no, the author, masayop niya kulis niya. Learning via telecommunications media, radio, telephone, television, communication is op one is often one way. Is that online instruction delivery by computer and la using uh, networks? Communication is usually two way. Similarities: both can be as part as organized in such a program. Both can be used uh, at all levels, so from kindergarten, college. The graduate school. Both can be used in both formal and informal. Both can be used for all subjects. Both done with physical separation of learners and teachers. So, layo, I'm having my class with you. You wouldn't see each other. No, pwede lang atong ababaw to ilisan, ubos ka siyo at salata. No? So, according to Skinner, in 1969, that's very long time ago, but I love this. The real problem is that whether machines think, but whether men do. Oh, diliha nga. Uy, kawa mo computer, no? It's not whether the machine think, but whether man do. How are you going to do this? Okay. So, if you have some questions, feel free. So, at this time, I'll be sharing with you our... I'll be sharing the activity. Okay. How are you, Miss Avita? I will share the activity for a while. I'll share the activity.
<clears throat> okay, so this is your activity. I'll be sending this to you there in the in our group. I'll post this. Now, uh, again, I'll try to post this, but I have a problem. I don't know why. I'll try to do it again. If I cannot post it, I will send one. Maybe I'll send it with you, Miss Avita. And then you try to you try to do this and answer this. Can we start tomorrow? What time is usually more of um, Sunday? Miss Avita, what time? Eight or nine? Okay, nine lang ta? Can we can we be uh, do this, Miss? Oh, yeah, nga, na time, ma. Nine o'clock, okay? Oh, okay na, ma'am. Okay, nine o'clock. Please inform your friends, ha? Yes, sir. Tomorrow, nine o'clock, you will be able to answer this. Okay, ma'am. We'll check okay, this ma before I discuss. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. I'll be sending this today. So, is there, if you have some questions, bakit I can't is there questions? Clarifications? If you have some questions, feel free to comment for questions. So I'm willing to answer the quest some questions. Okay. Um, so if there are no questions, I'll end my session today, but we will be having another session tomorrow. We'll be checking that one. Miss Avita, you'll be my focal person, ha? Huh? Miss Avita, you'll be my focal person. I'll be sharing with you tomorrow. We will see each other. See you at 9 a.m. Okay? Is it fine? See you at 9 a.m. Okay? So okay, God bless everyone. Hope you <clears throat> learned something today. This is Dr. Helen Boholano of Sipun Normal University.